It took 10 years, but Dr. Jeff Buka and scientists in 11 other labs on four continents finally figured out a way to create DNA from scratch. It's the kind of thing that, you know, has never been done before. And it starts with yeast. Dr. Buka is the director at the Institute for Systems Genetics at NYU Langone Health. He and his international team of scientists rewrote the genetic code for yeast and created a synthetic version, which could produce vaccines, medicines, and fuels. There's a lot of petroleum products in this office. Uh, that printer over there is made of plastic. It turns out you can make a lot of these, these materials and the, the starting chemicals to make those materials by producing them biologically in a very green way. Scientists first use a computer program to alter the natural sequence of yeast and then head to the Buka lab. This is the Buka lab. This is where scientists are putting their research in motion. Literally, these machines take baker's yeast to assemble DNA. Now, the place kind of smells like a bakery, only the yeast being used is helping to create big portions of artificial DNA. Once the new sequence is created, it's used as a blueprint to build the artificial DNA, then inserted into yeast cells. Researchers monitor the result to make sure it's growing and functioning properly with the new sequence. We are limiting our work in this area to work on human cells that can be grown in a dish and maybe they could make like small um, models of human organs so we could use it to help develop therapies for human diseases that affect our organ systems. It is a new idea to create DNA from scratch and for many people this has raised concerns about scientific power and about the notion that um, are we acting in the place of God? Dr. Lori Zoloth is the dean at the University of Chicago Divinity School. While she agrees with Dr. Buka's work, she believes the focus should first be on plants, animals, and then once scientists see how it works on humans. And then, and only then, if the technology is safe, if it's reliable, then I think is when you can begin to talk about the use in, in for humans and human disease. As for Dr. Buka, he hopes to witness his technology help with treating melanoma patients at the hospital. This would involve some DNA writing uh, uh, in, a, in a mouse and um, the information we would extract from that uh, would potentially allow us to come up with some really powerful therapeutic options for people who don't have them right now because many believe science should serve humanity. And what better way than helping those who suffer heal? In Midtown, Reagan Meggie, Fox 5 News.